Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a district line service from Tower Hill to Richmond. We'll just, uh, we will be stopping at all the stations, but since it's just, this is just a quick drive, then it won't tell us to do that, but we will anyway. So yeah, um, let's put this train into forward. And change your destination to Richmond. There we go. Let's just take a nice screenshot while we're here. Nice. And let's get going. Next station is Monument. This is District Line service to Richmond, calling at all stations. stop trade going to couldn't quite see the destination there so it's just over 12 miles to Richmond station speed up now let's put the in cab lights on So if you want to change the destination on this uh, D78 stock, um, just need to click the page up and page down buttons on your keyboard. Now approaching monuments. Change it for the circle line. So that's a C stop train, unfurbished one. So it doesn't have any London on ground, um, underground, I mean, delivery or anything like that. You can actually drive that train if you do want to. view for the T78 stock. Alright, next station Cannon Street. It's just around the corner. Yeah there is a way to um put the lights on in the Cab, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll just go back to driver's cab. This is Cannon Street. station is Mansion House. I think that passenger was trying to get on but the train just departed. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm not sure what that, what's happening with the passenger. She's just walking in circles, which is kind of funny. This 
This is Mansion House. Looks like that train came from Kensington Olympia. Right. Next station is Blackfriars. Blackfriars, change here for the Circle Line and Natural Rail Services. Right, moving on to the next station, which is, well, I'm going to show it there, so, looks like Temple, it's the next station on the line. I'm not sure why all the AI is just without the on-ground livery, it's a bit weird. So I didn't add these AI, it's just automatic for quick drive scenarios on this route, so... Okay, but you go a bit forward. This is Temple. Mind the gap between the train and platform edge. Mind the gap. Strange ready to depart, mind the doors. Next station is Embankment. Bankments followed by Westminster. Uh, if you have any questions about this route, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. 
This is embankments. Change here for the circle line, the Bakerloo line. And I guess Charing Cross Station since it's really close by. is Westminster. Pretty much 10 miles away from Richmond now. On the dock. Westminster. Okay, this one has the London Underground livery. Right, let's get going. Next station is St. James's Park. This is the District Line Service to Richmond, calling at all stations. Approaching St. James's Park. Again, it kind of overshot it, but. St. James's Park, Park and Broadway, Leading Broadway and Richmond. I think the Richmond service should be on the top because this is our train, so yeah. Next station, Victoria.
for you. I do like how the platform is like bendy. Looks pretty cool. We got changing for the Victoria Line, Circle Line, Natural Rail Services, Victoria Coast Station, and I guess Gatwick Express Services to Gatwick. Sloan Square. Approaching Sloan Square. Which doesn't seem to be loading up properly. I, mean, I guess the tunnel part is not loading up properly. At least the platforms are. Just something. None of the logos or anything like that loading up. Mind the gap. Anyways, next station is South Kensington. Approaching South Kensington. Is the station loading up properly? Got a lag there. Okay, the station's loading up properly. South Kensington. Looks like quite similar to uh, High Street Kensington. But yeah, we got uh, Gloucester Road. 
then Earl's Court, and then we've got stations all the way towards Richmond. So yeah, let's get going. Next station is Gloucester Road. the road. I think that's how you pronounce it. You can change here for the Piccadilly line. Grab some snacks here. So say Parsons Green, Ealing Common, Ealing Broadway, Wimbledon, Putney Bridge and Richmond. Which is where this train's going to. Right, let's get going. Next station is Earl's Court. Now approaching Earl's Court, change if we've got to pick the Lee Line and other district line services to other destinations. I'm a bit surprised we're not on the platform on the left hand side. Since we're turning off to Richmond Station, so... Or maybe that's just for services to Wimbledon. Probably. I think it does show here anyway. So yeah, I mean... This side is Parsons, Green and Ealing Commonwealth, whereas this side is towards Richmond and Wimbledon, so... And Ealing Gold actually does, if you so. I guess you can use both platforms. Anyways, let's get going. And you go down the stairs for the Piccadilly Line services. Kensington. Oops, I'm spinning up. Really should be paying attention. Didn't realise we're going down north, so that was my bad. I'm hoping we'll see some Piccadilly Line services as AI trains, so you, as we do get that train. I'm free with this route as well, so. They obviously run alongside um, the district line.
West Kensington. This is West Kensington. And of course, Mind the Gap. Baron's Court. This is a ship line service calling all stations Richmond. So yeah, Piccadilly line service has come on the ground. Could be a Piccadilly Line service arriving. I think it's service. The one that's standing at Baron's sidings, but not sure if that will be in service or not. Can you see another D stop train? Hammersmith, well, I can change for the circle line, Hammersmith and city line, but yeah there is a Piccadilly line stop train as you can see. So you do get that train free of charge with this route so you can drive the Piccadilly line as well. I'm guessing that's terminated there and it's going to be going back towards I guess Heathrow I'm guessing. So the two middle platforms are for the Piccadilly line, whereas the two outer ones are for the district line. Since Piccadilly line services don't stop until the next station, which is Acton Town. This is Hammersmith. Mind the doors between the train and platform edge. Take a nice screenshot there, but yeah. This is Hammersmith. And somewhere on the other side of the road is where you can get uh, another Hammersmith station where you can get the circle and Hammersmith city line. One of those weird stations where there's like two stations which are the same but they have different lines. Anyways, next station is Ravens Court Park. So district line services do stop at all of these stations whereas the Piccadilly line will just run through. They're quite fun to watch. 
and normally you see underground trains just stopping at all the stations, but seeing them like run through a station at full speed is pretty cool. see some picty line services but I'm not sure if they're gonna be added by default and we did see one but that was just at the sidings right this train is ready to depart minor doors next station is Stamford Brook Stanford Brook, Turnham Green, and then that's when we'll turn off towards Gunnersbury on the Richmond branch. Maybe we'll see some all ground services for Lucky. It's the platform. I actually had a bit more space than I thought, so yeah. Stamford Brook. Turn them green. Change it for district line services towards Ealing Broadway. Turnham Green. And now we'll switch over down towards Gunnersbury Station. In real life, there is like a massive Sainsbury's as we turn off, but I'm guessing that it won't be in the game. Switching off 
Oh, there's a 39 service. Nice. Better late than never, I guess. Town station is, is just up there. I'm guessing that's the Sainsbury's. It isn't really the Sainsbury's, but yeah. This is um, Chiswick Park Station. It does look like that in real life, if you're wondering. Train station I use quite a lot. And as we pass Chiswick Business Park. If you're wondering what all these uh, tall buildings are. And then that's where the overground services come from. Now I'm approaching Gunsbury, change here for London overground services. Between here and Richmond, both the old crown and the district lines share the same piece of track. Which is quite annoying, especially when you're trying to get an overground train and the district line has issues, then it just blocks the overground line, so I'm not really a fan of it, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It'd actually be better if the overground terminated at Gunsbury actually, if you think about it. And then if anyone wants to go all the way towards Richmond, then this change for the district line it makes a lot more sense. Right, next station is Kew Gardens, followed by Richmond, where the train terminates.
Now approaching Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens. Next session is Richmond with train seven eight. Line service. Probably heading to Upminster. Approaching Richmond, change here for South Western Railway Services as well as an unknown ground. You should see the tracks to the left hand side where the South Western Railway Services have come from. Uh, Waterloo. I don't think we'll see any. I might be lucky, we might see an old bone cells as well. at Richmond. Doesn't look like we've got any trains here, unfortunately. Speed limits. Anyways. Right. This is Richmond. Let's train terminus. All change, all change.
cool. did speed twice but yeah that was a service from tower hill to richmond hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a like share it with your friends and i will see you in my next video bye guys